what's going on everybody so this is back again with another video and today in this video we are gonna see the installation of matrix linux which is the great linux distro made by a nepali developer named navin tiwari so you can just head over to the website of matrix linux so you can just open any browser that you prefer so i'll just head over to matrix linux dot org that is the official website of matrix linux and you can see it is an artix based operating system so you can see it have lots of features so you can just head over to this about section and you can see it is uh, developed by a uh, nepali developer named navin tiwari with his friend named yogesh lamishani and safal pia and you can see there are several features of matrix linux so you can see these are the features of matrix linux it is really fast and lightweight and i totally appreciate it because i had already installed it upon my another computer uh, that is of only two gigs it have only two gigs of ram and it worked perfectly fine for me and i you know used it for about one week and after using it for one week i am totally satisfied with this and i am trying now making a video of its installation part so you can see it have uh, the text editor default text editor of nv and you can read all of this so i am not gonna go through all of this one so you can see uh, you can uh, read the installation guide as well so you can see gui installer is coming soon and for now there is an installer script so with the help of installer script it is easier for you to install as well so you can even read uh, this uh, installation guide as well so you can have a look at this uh, key bindings as well after all because after all you will have a dwm desktop setup so if you are not familiar with this uh, windows manager you can just read this uh, key bindings of this uh, linux distro and you can use it so it's not too difficult so you can just learn it within one hour so you can see wiki is not available because it is uh, under the construction so it will be available soon at the time of recording of my video so you can see you can contribute to developer and cons contact them as well so you can see you can contact them with twitter github telegram youtube and you can see there are several methods to get connected with the developer so you can just connect with them as well so you can contribute to them as well so you can just head over to the download section and you can download the iso file you can just head over here and you can download the iso file so you can see it is quite beautiful linux distro so you can see it use very less mem memory so you can just download it from here and you can read the installation guide if you wish so you can just download it from here so i'm not gonna download because i had already downloaded it so you can try it over your main operating system as well or you can even try it over the virtual machine platform such as uh, this oracle virtual box or vmware or you can even try it over hyper v as well so right now i'm gonna try it over my virtual box so you can just open your virtual box so I'll create a new virtual machine here and that is Metis Linux. So that is Linux and it is the version. It, uh, so it is Artix based which is also an art based uh, Linux distribution. You can just choose an art so you can uh, increase the memory size if you wish but uh, what 1024 megabytes is okay for this Linux distro but I'm gonna uh, keep it about 2 gigs for the formality okay that is uh, far enough right so you can just click on next and so you can allocate the memory size as well that is okay so i will just click, click on create and you can configure some settings as well so you can go to advanced and you can set this set clipboard and drag and drop feature to bidirectional so you can uh, i'll give the processor to two and that is pretty good okay then i'll click on okay and i'll just click on start here now it's uh, starting and it is uh, asking for us to uh, give the location of the iso file so i'll just click on this button so i'll just click on this add button and i'll provide the path of my iso file so it is under my download directory you can see this is the iso file so i'll just choose this one and i'll just click and start here so now you can see there are several options here so i will switch myself to the full screen one so you can see the time zone is set to UTC and you can see you can just press enter there and you can even change the default time zone and you can see yeah, if you are under Asia you can select this if your time zone match 
from these options so I'll just just cancel here so you can even change your uh, language as well so my is English US so I will leave it default here and I will just press enter here and you can see it is booting up so it will take about one minute to load up so I will just pause resume the video after the services have been started. now you will see such a interface after starting the all of the services by this Linux so you can just uh, use this credential to log in so I'll just type root root here and metis as a password here so after giving your login credential you can just clear the screen so uh, there is the installer script name metis sideload you can just run it so there is the command and install a script so you can just click on it and you can run it and you can see it is uh, doing several things and you can see it is setting the terminal font a bit bigger and you can see it is checking the internet connectivity and one more thing that you need to have a working internet connection otherwise this uh, as Linux installer will not be able to download everything that you need for your base installation from the internet so if you are working on the I mean to say if you are installing this machine under VM so you need to have your working internet connection in the host operating system and otherwise if you are working or installing this under main operating system then you need to have internet connect so you can see it is asking for us to enter the drive so you, I will just mention SDA here so I'll just press enter and you can see it is uh, asking for us to use the Dix utility software so I'll just use CF Dix and I'm familiar with this one as well so it is uh, friendly as well beginner friendly as well so you can see it is uh, asking for us to wait for 15 minutes so we have to wait for 15 minutes so you can see it is telling us to se select the label type so I'll just press on GPT and press enter here and you can see there is a free space here so I'll just click on new and I will create a new partition table and this will be of size about 450 megabytes and that is for and I will select the type is EFI system so that will be up for boot EFI system so I will again create a new one so new one will be for swap file so swap file will be of about 2.6 gigs so I will just press enter here uh, okay then you can uh, select the type to Linux swap but uh, I'm not gonna create a swap file because I'm running it under my virtual box so I'll just click on delete to this one and I'll create new and then I will select the type to Linux file system so I'll just move my arrow keys to right and I'll just press enter here I'll write S and you can see partition table has been alerted so I'll just move my arrows to the quit and now you are good to go and you can see it is asking for us to format our linux tab so by default it is ext4 so you have so by default it is ext4 so if you wanna format it over other file system including vtrfs then you can even mention the vtrfs but it is only for uefi system as you can see here so i'll just uh, leave the default and i will select ext4 here and you can see ext4 is selected for the file system and you can see it is asking for the root partition and the root partition is definitely sda2 so i'll just write sda2 and i will hit enter here and you can see it is performing some action and i can see it is formatting this into ext4 system so now it is asking for us to create this separate separate home partition or not so i'll just press n and hit enter and it is asking for us to create a swap partition or not so previously if you created a swap partition you can just press y and you can specify the dix but i have not created any swap partition so i'll press n and i'll press enter here so you can see it is asking for us so i mean to see it is uh, downloading some important files and files from the database and you can see it is trying to install some important packages here so you can see uh, it will uh, take uh, our fixed time depending upon the internet connection and you can see my internet connection is not that too good so it is uh, gonna take about uh, two to five minutes here so you can see it had completed all of the previous installation and now it is trying to install 
more important files. You can see it is installing some important files including Linux firmware and Linux gen, Linux gen headers. So you can see. So this time too you have no any option beside waiting. So just wait until this installation process completes. So guys after downloading all of the required files it will generate the GenFS tab you know GenFS tab as you can see the first phase of the installation have been completed so now it's time to go to the second phase so in order to go to the second phase you just need to write metis ch root so you have you just need to enter in the ch root environment and here you can install some of the packages by yourself or uh, you can even use this installation script so you i'll just take the help of installation script here so i'll just press enter here and you can see it is downloading so just wait until it get uh, downloaded okay okay you can see it is generating local as well so you can see it is uh, asking for us to fix our time zone so it is not correct our time zone is so my time zone is asia kathmandu you can see it is uh, setting up it is, generate, it is generating local so it is asking for the computer name so i will set that as metis so in case if you face any error while installing this you can just uh, do control c and exit this one and you can even install manually as you do in the arch links so the steps are similar so here you have the installer script and the further steps are similar is that of Arch Linux. So if you had uh, already installed Arch Linux, then it will be easier for you to understand what is happening in the foreground or the background. So you can see uh, bootloader have been installed. So the password for the root user. So I'll set that as pass because I don't need that much security as I am running it on the virtual box. So I'll enter my new username you can see it is giving the root access to my user that is adding to the will group so you can see it is downloading some other important packages as well and you can see it is asking for us to uh, install the you know enter the drive name in which our group boot loader will be installed so it is definitely the drive in which i specify the efi partition and it is just a one so I'll just press ST1 and it will install the grub bootloader there. So it finished to make the grub configuration file as well. So you can see the finally the installation have been completed and you can see it is asking or uh, commanding us to write this following command. So I can just write exit here and I just exited from Metis CS root environment and I can just write final that assets. So this is gonna unmount all of these drives or these partitions and it is gonna reboot it is telling that it is gonna reboot in one so guys so guys finally we have our metis linux booted and in your case it might be different and you might see different thing including here you can see shell or dwm under this metis tab so you need to Use your arrow key and select to X NITRC. So you can use your login credential and login. And finally, you have your Metis Linux got installed in your device. So after giving my credential, I have this login screen, and you can see this is our nice little Metis Linux which runs in very less RAM and you can see it only uses 308 MB of RAM and that is pretty cool so I will request you to give a try to this Linux distro this is amazing distro made by a Nepali developer named Navin Tiwari so I truly appreciate his work so thank you for watching this video please consider subscribing if you love this and bye for now